Hi friends, this is Suma from softwaretestingmaterial.com. In this video, we are going to see bug life cycle. Bug life cycle also known as defect life cycle. In software development process, the bug has a life cycle. The bug should go through the life cycle to be closed. Name of the bug status may vary depends on the tools and the process followed in the organization. Bug can be defined as the abnormal behavior of the software. Bug starts when defect is found and ends when a defect is closed after ensuring it is not reproduced. In the next video, we see what is the difference between bug, defect, error and failure. Let's continue with the current video. Now we see the different states of bug in the bug life cycle in detail. New. When a tester finds a new defect, the status of the defect posted by the tester is new. The tester should provide a proper defect document to the development team to reproduce and fix the defect. Assigned. Defects which are in the status of new will be approved if valid and assigned to the development team by test lead or project lead or project manager. The status of bug changes to assigned. If the development team accepts the bug, then the bug status changes and that status is open. If the bug status is open, then it means that the development team starts analyzing and works to fix the defect. Next state is fixed which means when developer makes necessary code change and verifies the change then the status of the bug will be changed as fixed and the bug is passed to testing team here the development team changes the bug status to test if the status is test it means the defect is fixed and ready to do test whether it is fixed or not Verified. The tester retests the bug after it got fixed by the developer. If there is no bug detected in the software, then the bug is fixed and the status assigned is verified. Closed. After verified the fix, if the bug is no longer exist, then the status of bug will be assigned as closed. Sometimes while doing retest, we may encounter the same issue again, which means the bug was not fixed properly. Now testers change the status as reopen. If the defect remains the same after the retest, then the tester posts the defect using defect retesting document and changes the status to reopen. Again the bug goes through the life cycle to be fixed. Duplicate. If the defect is repeated twice or the defect corresponds the same concept of the bug, the status is changed to duplicate by the development team. Deferred. In some cases, project manager or lead may set the bug status as deferred. If the bug found during end of release and the bug is minor, are not important to fix immediately, if the bug is not related to current bill, if it is expected to get fixed in the next release, customer is thinking to change the requirement, in such cases the status will be changed as deferred and it will be fixed in the next release. Rejected. If the system is working according to specifications, and bug is just due to some misinterpretation such as referring the old requirements or extra features. Then team lead or developers can mark such bug as rejected. Some other states of bugs are cannot be fixed, technology not supporting, root of the product issue, cost of fixing bug is more not reproducible, platform mismatch, 
improper defective document data mismatch build mismatch inconsistent defects need more information if developer is unable to reproduce the bug as per the steps provided by tester then the developer can change the status as need more information in this case tester needs to add detailed reproducing steps and assign bug back to the development team for fix this won't happen if the tester writes a good defect document click here to see best practice to write a defect document thanks friends if you have any queries please comment below if you did enjoy this video be sure to like the video please subscribe for more videos thank you have a good day